staff, Fisher Nation. Do I look excited? Because I am. You know why? I'm down here in Avalon. We're going out for sea bass in the big water, the deep water. 100 to 130 foot of water. I wonder if there's any flounder. But am I excited? Because I'm going out on that boat right there. The boss lady. I don't even know how big it is, but I guarantee it's bigger than my 23-foot Carolina skiff. And who invited me? Who was taking me out? None other than Big Ed, the landlord. You guys know how much I love this guy. But he's on there somewhere. Guys, I'm so excited. This is awesome. Um, my boat's out of the water, so it's not getting put back in. But uh, this should make for a couple days worth of footage. All right, stick around. It is October 11th, Tuesday. I'm so excited. Beast at Fishing Nation, look at this boat. What a vessel, right? Incredible. And then there's this guy. I mean, how do you not love Big Ed the Landlord? Um, I'm already going to be back at his place, stocked at his house next year. I'm so excited. I mean, he's just the neatest guy. Awesome family. And uh, I couldn't ask for better. So let's go. jig on the bottom on there I have a Z-Man uh, grub that is scented with flounder pounder scent and All right. on the top I now. have Jigging. Jigging a Flatty Mafia bottom blind strip no hits nah, no hits what happened was unfortunately when I was jigging I caught my own tail <laughs> so it's the only problem with some of these Needless to say, this was pretty new fishing for me and Ed, and he lost the fish again. But look at the size of this fish over here, right? Jumbo. Well, Ed is later called the silent assassin because he came out of nowhere and started smoking me. Man. Nice. Oh, look at this. That's nice. how you do oh, it. See? That's how you go home early, guys. Oh, when you catch him like that. That's why we brought Bob to make up for all you. I ain't letting this one, I ain't letting this one get off. Good drift here. Definitely. Nice job, fellas. Anthony went YouTube. Yeah, man. Am I going to be a TV star? Yeah, there we go. Everybody is. 
All right, Big Ed is on. He's starting to smoke me. And you heard the one gentleman say, hey, am I going to be a movie star? And the funny thing is, and the world gets so small, he went to school, college actually, with my father's cousin, which would be my second cousin, 50, 60 years ago. Just an amazing story. And here we are on a boat how many years later. And uh, you can hear the mate who... Uh, very skilled, very sure skilled, hardworking guy. Right. But man, is he an agate buster. Yeah, but I don't know what they are. Put a little bait on there, just pop over. Back on it. Yep. Good job, bud. everything just lost everything yep I got stripped cut me off Though. We got a long way up. Taking drag now. Trying to give you room. Uh, I'm alright, yeah, it's taking drag now. It might be blue, I'm not sure.
No, I like this. Are you kidding me? I don't mind. I don't need quad quantity. I like quality. Yeah, he's getting bugs. He's getting bugs way off this thing here. You marking anything here? This don't want to come up. This might be a gator. I got color. What do we got? I had color. He ran a little bit there. Gotta see it now. Oh no, that thing right. Yeah, my whatchamacallit went all the way up. The skirt went all the way up. Afraid that's a blue? I think it's a blue the way it's running. Yeah. God almighty. A big nah, one. it's a what's that? It's a nice size blue. Yeah. <laughs> how do you how do you want to lop lop him in or Alright. And right there. <laughs> you can see why I'm gonna lose this fish because I had no help getting him that's in the big boat. ass blue, Ed. That's a big ass blue. Yep. See you later. He took everything. No, that was a that was a gator. Huh? How much is your line like? Fifteen? Fifteen. Fifteen pound, yeah. Yeah, well no, it was a bluefish. He just he cut the oh you mean even the test it's 20 pound test for the leader. But he was a big he was a big blue. Yeah. So let this be a lesson learned. When the captain, who is a known legend in our area, tells you, use one of our rods, you do what he says. All right, Beach Tap Fishing Nation. Uh, when in Rome, do as the Romans. Apparently what I was using was too light, although that was a pretty big bluefish, probably about 15 pounds. And uh, so we're switching up, but more importantly, when the owner of the boat and the cab, one of the captains says, grab one of my rods, you grab one of his rods. I'm quitting, I'm turning my channel into a cooking show.
Yeah, about freaking time. Here they are. And apparently your work way works. Yeah, with that rod. How you doing? Oh man. Nice double header. First time I've ever fished like this. And these are the biggest sea bass I've ever seen in my life. Hi, Keith. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, fishing, finally. We got the tax man. Unfortunately, the tax man's blue. Hey, Jack. Wow. Nice. Unfortunately, the tax man got hold of this fish. Our tax man up here in New Jersey, this time of year, is Gator Bluefish. The gentleman I'm turning to is a renowned sword fisherman in our area, and he was hooking four and five at a time. All right, Bob, what's the secret? You're hooking one and just staying down with it? You just leave it there. Right. Are you still jigging when this first one's on? Uh, the more you move it, the more that fish is going to move, and then you don't yeah, feel the other bites. Okay, okay. Nah. Yeah, well, you see where that got I, me. I, I, whatever you want. Okay. Woo! Keep him in the water. Want some slack? <coughs> yeah, I like to smoke them. I kind of like eating them. I like to smoke them. Good job, bud. You know the best way to eat that? Cook them. Uh, how? Nice piece of oak. Just lay your fish, lay it on the oak, stick it in the oven for right. an hour and a half or so. A little bit of whatever you like right onion right on the oak lemon and all that right and then you take it out of the oven throw the bluefish away and you eat the oak <laughs> i wish i was recording for that because you sucked me right in because i'm like i hate you go I, yeah you did because I, I don't like i don't like bluefish i don't even let them on my boat <laughs> I caught, nice job, but I caught one a couple couple days, well, a couple weeks ago, and I'm like, it was more of a tailor blue, like, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try smoking it. You know what, you're taking all the fish taste out of it anyway, you're right. doing, you know, you're... Yeah, it's just a, yeah. something to hold the flavor Yeah, the that's, all, that's all it is, yep. He sucked me into that one, hook, line, and sinker, man, that was hysterical. I bit like a barracuda. You eat the oak board. That was awesome. What a great guy. Get him, Ed. Good job, buddy. Come on, fishy. Big Ed, the landlord, is on. Son of a 
we're gone. Some tough fishing out here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they get the landlord. We're back now, I'm back down. We'll just go, I'm dropping back down. You're good. this one either. Oh, there we go, Ed. Big Ed the Landlord is now known as Big Ed the Silent Assassin because he shouldered himself up in that corner and just started laying waste to the fish. All the way up. Pin that thing. You yep. Put that thing here. Thank you, bud.
guy's coming up on a rocket ride. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it. It's craziness, isn't it? It's stripped, though. Look at it. Everything got stripped. Goofy little fish. of these fish that we brought up were coughing up white leg crabs so I figured what the heck might as well put one of them on the hook Telling you, retired trooper. Well, this, yeah. I was, yeah, I was, I taught for 32 years. One day, I walked, one Monday, I walked into school and this woman practically slapped me in the face. I can't believe you, you, you ignored me on <laughs> Saturday night. I said, I was in Philadelphia Saturday night. Oh, wow. You were kidding. And then I ran into the guy over at the anchorage. Oh, wow. He I got walked in and I looked at him and he looked at me and I just shook my head. I have a picture of us from a wedding and I'm telling you, I, I, that's why I kept taking a double take at you. Good looking sucker he is. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been 
Then he brought a friend. Is the silent assassin in that hot, corner? Hot, hot corner there. Come hot, on, yeah. Bob, you're killing me over there. The silent assassin. This fish keeps getting bigger, mine keeps getting smaller. That's too white, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's small. Oh, no. oh that ain't that small. Over the rail, into the pail. Grab your leg. Yes, Grab that. Yep. Got a monster. Oh, what do you got, Ed? Oh no, is it? You still got something. Oh, you still got That's something. He got bit. Yep. He got bit. Oh, oh my goodness. Shit. Wow. Oh, well, we know what they got. <laughs> yep. Bluefish, magoo fish. That was fast and furious, guys. Fast and furious. Fishing Nation, we're back on, baby. <laughs> yeah, Bob, I, I, I think I had a double. Header. I think you had a double. Yeah, your yeah. rod, that rod was bent in half. Oh, I guess what? I just got, I think I just got hit. You got bit off too? I might have. Jeez. Oh, no, 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 he's still there. Man, I felt like something said, something popped me. Now, I'm not getting any head shakes. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever that was, I think I'm coming up with a head, maybe a head. Nope, nope, nope. Yup. Yep. Oh no, it's small. Oh, Right or no? Yeah. God Almighty! Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, that's horrendous. Yeah, listen, you need your wheels, you know. You're still recovering. Yeah. Hey, listen. So this gentleman went to school with my second cousin 50 years ago, give or take more than 50 years ago and he was telling me he fell off a ladder on a roof off a roof shattered his ankles fibia and tibia in both legs last year and i'm going to tell you something he's an ox he is a brahma bull there's nothing stopping him god bless him what a pleasure to fish with there we go 
go. corner if you want. Smackdown today. He really did. And he made sure I knew that he whooped me like a redheaded stepchild. <laughs> My man. Alright. Beast Staff Fishing Nation. I'm shoulder to shoulder with your favorite Beast Staff Fishing Nation friend, Big Ed the Landlord. <laughs> I fish short of left. Oh man, Big Ed has been the silent assassin, everybody. He's been sitting in the corner. Nobody puts Eddie in the corner but Eddie. He's been sitting in the corner slaying all day. He's that fishing. We're trying our hardest out here. This is the last drift. We got to get him. Hey, what's going on, Beast Staff Fishing Nation? So, my apologies. You can see by the bags and the creases under my eyes. I'm kind of tired, but uh, I didn't get a chance to do the outro yesterday. So, I figured... Um, I'll do it now while I'm making this video. It is now uh, Wednesday morning, the 12th. So, um, lessons learned, right? Now, I did a video once about lessons learned. And 
you're never too old to learn lessons. So I learned how to uh, fish for black bass in uh, very, very deep water, you know, probably some of the deepest water I've ever fished in in New Jersey, um, as opposed to, you know, tuna fishing down in uh, Ocean City, Maryland. But um, I'm in 150 plus foot of water. And um, the rods that I brought, that OTI rod that I use for flounder um, in the back and out front, um, as well as the, uh, tsunami rod that I got pretty similar rods. And, um, especially the OTI was rated for 14 ounces. I figured I'll be fine out there, but I had only a uh, six ounce ball jig on. And, um, you obviously saw the bluefish that I landed. I mean, that was a 15 pound class bluefish. The rod handled perfectly. I mean, the reel handled, handled great. Um, but but, and this is a huge but, and again, lesson for me to learn is, when in Rome, do as the Romans. Especially when um, it is a fill the cooler, you know, get and go meat type of charter, right? Um, I needed to really just put my rods away, start out with exactly what the house rods were, which were outstanding or all top top end shimanos avet reels i mean it was all top end gear and i should have fished that way uh the way everybody else was because you know when i first started i wasn't catching anything and guys were starting to bail already so you know here i am in the corner not doing much of anything so um it is what it is lesson definitely learned um and then once you know once i made the switch and uh, kind of got in uh in the swing of things things worked out pretty well. So anyhow, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was an absolute banner day out there and it actually seemed like it got flatter even on the way in. So, um, if you like this video and you like this content and you like me, <laughs> do me a favor, hit like, uh, please subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. Uh, my boat's out of the water for the uh, for the season, maybe a little prematurely, but we had a storm come through, and you know, once I brought it out, I'm like, it's just I'm, I'm going to keep it out. So it looks like I'm going to be doing some fishing from land uh, off of some docks, and I might have to jump out on a uh, party boat or two to keep uh, some content coming. So okay, like, subscribe. Most importantly, say your prayers to the man upstairs. Go fishing. <laughs>